In this video, I'm going to show you some essential helming tips that you need to know if you want to win more battles. Let's get into it. So first of all, I want to give a massive shout out to the original guide behind this video. It was made by a YouTube channel called Rhetorical Question or Question Mark if you know him from my Discord or my streams. So if you want to see that original video, it goes for about 11 minutes. It's linked in the description below. Let's get into it. So you're now the helm of a boat. What does that mean? It means a few things. You're essentially going to be the captain of the vessel and the one who calls the shots. If you're on a larger boat, like a brig or a galleon, you're going to be the one who's allocating people roles and telling them what to do. While if you're on a smaller boat, you're going to find yourself being the main repair and maintenance of the ship, as well as being the one who gets people angles. Starting with a sloop. If you are solo slooping or in a duo sloop, your roles are going to be simple. You're going to be getting angles. You're going to be cooling shots. You're going to be repairing the boats and you're going to be repelling orders. The only thing you're not going to be repairing if you are on a duo sloop is going to be the mast. That role will be solely for the cannoneer. While if you're on a bigger boat, you're going to be making the decisions, allocating people roles, helming, and fixing up sails closest to the helm. You will essentially be telling who's doing what and when they're doing it. These are all the base responsibilities for an average helm, so it's likely that the fate of the battle and the fate of the boat will lie on your shoulders. No pressure at all. A secondary part of being a helm is you're not going to want to find yourself having nothing to do and just sitting on a wheel when you could be doing other things. Whether that be doing quick bails, patching up holes that you haven't already, or even just sniping and shooting enemies from the helm, over on their boat. The joys of being a helm, it is the best visibility on the entire boat, so you're gonna find yourself telling your crewmates how they need to shoot their cannons, whether they're too high, too low, too far to the left, or anything else in between. So to recap, essentially you're gonna find yourself being a shot cooler, guiding your team, and of course, staying busy. On all the other roles you're gonna find yourself doing as a helm of any size vessel. The next thing, and possibly the most important thing you need to do as a helm, is make sure you always have angles, or at the very least, have angles as much as possible. You never want to find yourself in a situation where you don't have a cannon towards the enemy. If you do, that can cause defeat pretty much instantly. The do's and don'ts of a helm are pretty simple. You're never going to want to find yourself nosing an enemy, which means where you have the front of your boat directly in their cannon broadside, and you always want to try and give angles as much as possible no matter the situation. If you do leave the helm for essential repairs or general boat maintenance, make sure you let the other people on your crew know. That way they can adjust the helm if needed and not wait and expect for you to do it for them. However, don't always expect to be attacking continuously. If you do find yourself in a situation where you are severely leaking, there's big damage to your boat, or you're just in a really bad situation, don't be afraid to turn out, pull back, retreat, and just fix your boat up to get ready and to go again. Staying tactical and one step ahead of the other boat or boats is going to be the key to being a good helm. Some basic situations that I can tell you and give you examples of so you get an idea of how this looks are as follows. When you do find yourself loading into a battle, if this is one of the PvP on-demand battles, the first thing you want to do is tilt your boat either direction for angles and work on getting your sail up. If you're on a sloop or a brig and you have a shared broadside, which means both of the boats are shooting each other at a good angle, occupy your time between getting good angles, adjusting sails, and of course bucketing and repairing when possible. Also keep your communication as clear as possible. So if you're going down to patch, let your crew know you're going down to patch. If they are missing their shots and you don't find your boat severely leaking, do things like sniping the cannoneers or the helm just to cause some damage and maybe relieve some of that fire pressure. If you're on a galleon and you find yourself helming in a good turn, try and work on getting yourself your sails fixed and grabbing a cannon closest to the helm. The point of that will be make sure you're doing something even if it is minor, no matter the situation. So in essence, that is the role of a helm and these are some examples that you can do to hopefully improve your ability tenfold. The same as everything, this will take practice. Don't expect to take these tips and be better simply on your first battle. Use what I've told you, practice on them and I guarantee you will find progress for the better. So that's everything you need to know as a helm. Helming really isn't as simple as getting yourself a death spiral. There's heaps that you've got to know and heaps of responsibility on your shoulders. If this video helped you in any way, let me know down in the comment section below. And if you want to see more stuff like this in the future, let me know too. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel as it does help us out. And check me out on Twitch if you want to see this sort of thing in action every single day. Goodbye for now. 
stay groovy, and I'll catch you all in the next video or over on Twitch. Goodbye for now.